This week we're talking about Soviet space history, China's bold space ambitions, NASA's hedging their bets on Artemis III, JAXA's steady and impressive contributions, and what to keep your eyes on this week. In space history, on October 25, 1975, the Soviet Union's Venera 9 made history as the first spacecraft to snap and beam back photos from another planet's surface. Touching down on the scorching, crushing hellscape of Venus, it survived just 53 minutes, but those grainy black and white images revealed a rocky, lava-strewn world under a thick, hazy sky. Venera 9 wasn't just a probe, it was humanity's first direct peek at our evil twin. A reminder that space exploration thrives on bold risks. And shifting gears to the present, China's space ambitions are firing on all cylinders. A bombshell report from the Commercial Space Federation, dropped September in 2025, paints a stark picture. China could eclipse the U.S. as the world's top space power in just five to ten years, with payloads to orbit doubling since last year and two massive satellite mega constellations in the works. Beijing's not playing catch up, they're lapping the field. This unmanaged competition era demands we step up. And speaking of stepping up, NASA just threw the lunar lander race wide open. In a surprise move, October 2025, acting administrator Sean Duffy announced they're reopening bids for the Artemis III human landing system. Blame it on Starship's delays. SpaceX's mega rocket has hit snags, so now Blue Origin, Lockheed Martin, and others get a shot to deliver astronauts to the moon by 2027. It's a high-stakes pivot. Reliability wins over hype, ensuring we don't miss our lunar rendezvous. Over in Japan, JAXA's Slim Lander continues to punch above its weight. This pint-sized precision pioneer, smart lander for investigating moon, nailed the world's first pinpoint lunar touchdown back in January 2024, landing within 10 meters of its target. Fast forward to 2025, its transformable nano rover snagged the Prime Minister's award in February for open innovation. And fresh analysis from the ISAS this October reveals stunning mineral maps of the Shioli Crater. Slim proves you don't need a giant budget for giant leaps, just smarts. Finally, what to watch this week? Eyes on the skies for asteroid 2025 UR3. A house-sized space rock zipping past Earth at a comfy 302,000 miles closer than the moon. But no sweat, track it via NASA's asteroid watch for the show. Up on the ISS, power upgrades are humming. The final IROSA solar arrays boosting output by 30% wrapped initial installs earlier this week, with tweaks ongoing through 2025. To keep the station juiced for science, tune in for live streams. NASA never sleeps. And that's your T-Minus Weekly. Like, subscribe, and share if you believe curiosity still matters. Until next time, keep your tether tight and your eyes on the horizon.